Islamabad has a 8 pm curfew Not anyways. anymore. Also, <laughs> nahi tha, but it's, so we didn't want to go outside of Nas, but it was, you know, like the boys could just chill around within the campus. So yeah. it was, we had a massive, massive campus. Mm. The boys could stay out as long as they wanted to. They could play sports until midnight. They could be, sit, be sitting in the cafe, having chai with each other. We were not allowed to do any of that. Yeah, it's not like that. It's not like that. It's not like that. It's not like that. Hi guys, welcome back to the Desi Expats. We have a very interesting guest with us today. I've been wanting to get Maham on this podcast for a very long time. Maham is someone who sort of defines being the Desi Expat. She's lived across three continents and is currently working as a civil servant with the UK government. So Maham, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you guys? Yeah, very We're very good. well. Uh Thanks a lot for taking out the time. No, no thank you for asking like, me to uh, be here. It's a privilege. As I said, I mean, you were one guest that we were really looking forward to. Uh, like I was telling Sameeksha and Sajan as well, like you are the Desi expert. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know you've like lived across multiple countries, multiple cities in Pakistan as well. Um, I want to start with like the early life and like growing up. Um, I was going to say growing up in Pakistan, but that's probably not very accurate <laughs> given you've lived all across. Uh, so what was growing up like? Oh, I, I, it was a great childhood, alhamdulillah. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so my father was in the Air Force, yeah. which is why I've um, moved around quite a bit. And we've always live, lived in Air Force bases slash cantonments. And there's this community that you grew up around with. And you make the best of friends in those places. Um, but I think the best thing that sort of childhood gave me was this ability to adapt. So we mm. moved around so much. Every one year, every two year, I had to um, up and change schools, mm. make new friends um, mm. all, all over again. Um, at the time, I would find it quite disruptive. <laughs> I would leave every place with tears. My parents would make fun of me. They're like, how do you make new best friends in every place you go? And I was like, I don't want to go. Why do we have to leave? But then we would go to the next place. And, you know, because as kids, you can easily adapt, right? Yeah. And you go to a new place and you settle down. Or after a few you feel like it's been home forever. Yeah. Um, but what it gave me the ability to do was just, you know, like, just start all over again anytime I wanted to or, or however many times I wanted to. Yeah. Um, and you weren't just in moving in Pakistan. I mean, you no. were also, you've lived abroad as well. Yeah. So um, when I was around 12 or 13, my father got posted to the US. Um, so that was a big change because that was my first time leaving Pakistan hmm. um, and it's funny because we are big in Pakistan we speak English in school so it's not so much of a problem you think that won't be an issue so what happened was um, on our way to the US we stopped over in Scotland um, where my uncle used to live and at that time my little brain didn't know that there are some accents <laughs> right? Yeah. so we go to Scotland and we go out and I don't understand what people are saying. Oh, wow. It's Scottish accent. One oh, of the yeah. hardest. It's not difficult. Hai. And I start freaking out. I'm like, there is no way I'm going to be able to settle down in the US because I can't talk to people in English. Mm. Mein. And I start freaking out. Um, but then I got to the US and I realized that it's not SSL. Mein nahi hota. And people have different accents. It's just like in the movies. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Because in Pakistan, you have so, the, the pop culture you get exposed to in Pakistan, mm. the TV shows you get exposed to are mostly American. It's from the US, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so it's an American accent is quite easy to understand, yeah. quite easy to pick up. Scottish accent, not so much. So, I was nervous. But I went there and um, the American people are very, very, very welcoming. Where were you in the US? California. Well, it was that must a, have been yeah, nice. it was a small town in California. My school was on top of a hill, down the um, Pacific Ocean. Oh, wow. <laughs> it was amazing. Um, it was, alhamdulillah, like such a great experience for all of us siblings to, like, you know, spend two years in a place like that. Yeah. Um, and it just, um, those two years just changed my perspective so much on what, like, you know, like all the things that I could do. Mm. Um, 
उधर से मुझे दिमाग में पहली बार ये भी आया कि ओ आई एम गन लाइक यू नो वन आई गो टू यूनी आई एम गन गो अब्रॉड आई एम नॉट गन आई हैव टू कम टू द यू एस टू स्टडी तो वाई वॉज दैट वेस इट वॉज जस्ट बिकॉज यू नो द पीपल यूर एक्सपोज टू वेन यू मूव अब्रॉड देर ऑल सॉर्ट ऑफ लाइक देव गॉट दिस हासिल अबाउट दम आई थिंक दैट वॉज प्रॉब्लली वेरी प्रोनाउंसड कैलिफोर्निया के अंदर बट बैक होम पीपल आर बिट मोर लेट एटलीस्ट लाइक So I come from Lahore, and I mean, <laughs> Islamabad. I'm sure is is the same. Yeah. People are a bit more laid yeah. back yeah. when it comes to yeah. like career and all that. Yeah. Yeah. So there was that. Yeah. Um. Usse me sixth seventh grade me thi. Usse pehle tak chhod me netna socha bhi nahi tha ke aage like you know what further education ke liye kya karna hai. उधर जाके पता चला स्कॉलरशिप्स होती हैं यू कैन कम हियर एंड यू नो यू कैन कैन स्टडी लाइक 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 दिल पे यू टू स्टडी हियर एज वेल ये वाली सारी चीज़ें मुझे वहाँ जाके पता चली तो तब से वो फिर दिमाग में भी बैठ गया कि ओके लाइक यू नो आई हैव टू ड्रीम बैग आई हैव टू एम टू यू नो फॉर फॉर यूनिवर्सिटी इन अ प्लेस लाइक दिस स्पेंड टू ईयर्स देर फिर वापस आ गए हम लोग स्पेंड इन अदर कपल ऑफ ईयर्स इन पाकिस्तान then my dad got posted again out of pakistan this time to uae mm. so we were based in abu dhabi for 3 years um again a really good experience um very different culture yeah, from exactly. the us uh, a bit more closer to home in the sense ki kafi desi community mm. thi bhi thi wahan pe but then also a lot of like indian students and bengali students and arab students around you so like bilkul ek alag kism ka perspective wahan ja ke mila yeah. um बट या वो 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 ऑन इट्स ओन बहुत अच्छा एक एक्सपीरियंस था वो उधर मैंने ओ लेवल्स किया फिर केम बैक टू पाकिस्तान फॉर माई ए लेवल्स मैंने ए लेवल्स भी एक स्थिति से नहीं रह के किया सो आई डेड वन ईयर ऑफ ए लेवल्स इन लाहौर एंड देन माई डैड वॉज पोस्टेड इन इस्लामाबाद सो देन आई मूव फॉर माई सेकेंड ईयर ऑफ ए लेवल्स इन इस्लामाबाद इस्लामाबादी पर्सन हमजा I'm going to ask you the same question yeah. in terms of the differences uh, you found between Islamabad and Lahore. Um and which city you liked better? Islamabad will always be home for me. Yeah, well, that's home, but if you look if you put the home thing aside Islamabad still. Yeah. Well, do you um, want a specific answer? Bar bar puchhe ja rahe ho. So I'm going to say Lahore. So, it's a surprise. So I say that despite the fact that my um my my maternal grandparents have been in lahore forever so maybe some all of my aunts and uncles are based there to maine sari summers wahan pe guzari hain but thoda sa mujhe lahore ka culture thoda sa superficial laga tha mm. no offense <laughs> but is the ambad is thoda zyada simple hai not mm. and I, this is a generalization cuz har tarah ke log har jagah pe hote hain but just in terms of people i interacted with it, that might have something to do with the fact that i went to lahore grammar school which is you know like certain class ke log aate hain mm. wahan pe lahore mein yeah but that said um the horror may be like like i i did learn a lot from the people around me and i think i, I would say that you know the the, the kind of people i was studying within the horror they were very very driven mm. um be it a function of the the environment they've grown up with you know lahore grammar was one of the best schools in the city at the time mm. and the sort of things that they they're working towards so us us wo ek ek wo driven cheez thi on me you could see those ambitions so it was really great for me to be in that environment i think it's more of a precedent thing as yeah. well like in yeah. some of these schools in lahore because yeah. these people have seen their seniors yeah. you know go to ivy leagues exactly. yeah oxbridge and all of that yeah. so they they have a path yeah. Yeah. Uh, islamabad i don't know much about like i'm sure mm. people do go yeah. but probably wo utna precedent nahi hota ke hamare seniors gaye the yahan pe we just need to follow and do yeah. the same but, thing yeah. maybe that's why they didn't but ha huh, like you know 10 years back not so much and i think that's why karachi has probably the oh, yeah. most of yeah. that given karachi is very far ahead city, in that sense uh, in terms of education yeah. but yeah. yeah so what was So uh, for for the undergrad you came back then right as well. So yeah, so yeah. my undergrad was in Islamabad then. Yeah, and yeah. that was at, at Nast. That was at Nast. And you were studying economics. Yes, I was studying Ye economics. Kaise hua? So economics. So as I think a lot of people would be able to relate to me when I say I was very confused about what I wanted to study. <laughs> I knew I didn't want to be a doctor. I had. I I I'd seen a lot of doctors in my family and I just that work life balance is like you know it's not for me. Yeah, वैसे पता है जिस बंदे से मैं पूछता हूं ना इकोनॉमिक्स क्यों पढ़ी हो उसका दैट्स दिस व्हाट दे स्टार्ट देयर आंसर विद मैं बड़ा कंफ्यूज था आई एम वेरी कंफ्यूज सो राइट या सो माय आंसर वाज मुझे पता नहीं था क्या करना है इट्स कंफ्यूज पीपल आर लाइक ये सही लग रहा है ये कर लो तो कर लेते हैं 
तो मेरा मैं मेरा ये था कि आई न्यू दट आई डेंट वॉन्ट डू साइंस आई लव मैथ आई रियली वॉन्ट इट टू परसू मैथ बट देन यू नो उसमें जब थोड़ा सा रिसर्च की तो आई रियलाइज के अच्छा करियर पोटेंशियल जस्ट प्योर मैथ की इतनी नहीं है प्रॉब्ली पाकिस्तान में आई प्रॉब्ली हैव टू यू नो गो इन टू अकेडमी आफ्टर वर्ड्स विच आई डेंट वॉन्ट टू डू इकनॉमिक्स हैड बिन स्टडिंग सिंस ओ लेवल्स एंड इज अब्जेक्ट आई रियली इन्जॉयड एंड आई न्यू कि वो एक थोड़ा सा अच्छा बैलेंस होगा बिटवीन सम टेक्निकल स्किल्स आई कैन गेन एंड देन ऑल्सो यू नो थेरी भी मुझे इंटरेस्टिंग लगती है सो देन एंड देन आई न्यू दैट देर इज़ अलॉट ऑफ पोटेंशियल इन टर्म्स ऑफ करियर ऑप्शन आफ्टरवर्ड्स इज अ लॉट आई कैन डू विद एन ई कॉन डिग्री सो या दैट्स हाउ द डिसीजन केम अबाउट आई विश हैड अ मोर इंटरेस्टिंग आंसर ऑप्शनिटी जिसको ये मिल गया तुम और कुछ कैसे सोच सकते हो जबकि अपने वो कितनी लिमिट कर देते हैं to pursue something non traditional and i feel like abhi like 5 10 years after yeah. we were born yeah. i think avenues have opened yeah. up and i'm really glad yeah. i mean i have less remorse ki maine nahi kiya yeah. and i have more happiness ki aajkal ke log kar rahe hain that is true like there are young kids who are like toppers and they're like uh-huh. i'm a dancer banna i'm like yeah. brilliant like so i think that that was one of the things right because so i had always been you know one of those uh, a grade students so in my mind <laughs> i had to do something academic academic yeah <laughs> halan ka i was really good at arts and my parents always re- really encouraged me to you know like think about arts as well like it was as a hobby tha hamesha yeah and you know when it came to like you know when i used to discuss with them ki main ye karu main ye karu to wo jab art ki baat karti thi they, they were ne- my parents were never the sort to tell me not to do something mm. neither with me nor with my brothers they like you know do what you want to do but wo pe ye point ka raise kar dete ki you know that's art is art is something you can pursue on the side Why don't you like you know you're so good at studying like why don't you do yeah. like a more solid degree not to say that art isn't solid but you mm. know Pakistan me us time to yeh tha na ki acha I'm gonna live in Pakistan long term like yeah. Pakistan me ab socho ki kya career options hai us time se jab sochte the to I'd be like okay fine like you know maybe I'll do something more traditional and then you know other stuff I can pursue on the mm. side whereas now I feel like things yeah. are changing kids are less scared to you know just follow their heart uh, I, I think it's also because if you want to do something in that arena in the yeah. creative field in those careers like would jo distribution curve no very skewed hmm. you're either great yeah. right and or you're basically yeah. a nobody hmm. yeah right there's no room for you to be mediocre and still yeah. be making a decent amount of yeah. you know uh, yeah. money from that whereas in other careers i think you can be sort of okay i'm i'm in there i'm in the middle of the distribution curve and i'll still be fine yeah बट आई स्टिल फील आज कल लाइक ऐसे वो ऐसे वेल्थ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कॉन्सेप्ट से तुम जो बोल रहे हो इट्स स्टिल सो मच बेटर लाइक एज एन एग्जाम्पल जैसे क्रिकेट में पहले आई पी एल नहीं होता था इंडिया में एंड सो फॉर अ फॉर अ किडोज इन एन अंडर नाइनटीन टीम Indian team or nothing. There yeah. was like nothing else. And I actually have friends who were in under nineteen teams of states, and they didn't pursue because they were like from from like modest families, mm. and they had to like yeah. their parents didn't have a lot of money to fall back on. But and they literally tell me, "Tab IPL hota to hum kar lete." No. Yeah, so there's definitely more. I mean, there's avenues that are right. uh, for creative people. Yeah. Like even social media is one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I mean, you don't like OTT. The gatekeepers come. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Like the um, barrier to entry is lower. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's brilliant. Yeah. and and there's more precedent as well so yeah. people yeah. like basically gen z can now see people you know they you know gain a creative world and they've actually done yeah. that path yeah whereas when we were sort of growing up yeah. we didn't have any of that right yeah and what i also love about this like sector is ki um, age is like not a bar yeah. yeah which is brilliant which is not the case with traditional jobs yeah. Yeah. i feel like yeah. not just age but so many things are not a bar yeah. Yeah. yeah right i mean even with like you know so your racial backgrounds sometimes huh. there are certain professions ethnic backgrounds mm. it it plays in genders as well yeah. right i mean there's 
fine arts for example very male dominated right so yeah yeah the creative work there's none of that yeah so uh, i think it's brilliant that it's going in that yeah. direction yeah, like definitely. more power to kids who do it <laughs> but you were uh, um you stayed in the hostel at nast right oh, so yeah. you were uh, But it's not border ni kehte na kuch aur kehte you're not hostel a day hostel like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. border is for schools yeah. right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. what was That's that the like best part about nas <laughs> i have to imagine. say yeah. i think ek aapka jo experience hota hai na as a hostelite is yeah. a completely different experience in your undergrad it just it, it was home nas became home like i still like if i'm driving by nas i like you know aapke dil mein wo feeling <laughs> aata bhi wo aati hai ki oh my god i miss home um people around you become your family i found some yeah. of my best friends living in in the hostels right like you know aap har khushi har gham se saath guzar rahe hote ho exam season ki pains bad weather so nast um just for context nast is an uh, nast is predominantly run by retired army officers okay. mm. so even though it's not an army institution there's a lot of, you know wo ek ko bahut sari चीजें रूल्स में वो आ गई हैं आर्मी टाइप सो देर वॉज काफी स्ट्रिक्ट स्ट्रिक्टनेस थी हमारे पर स्पेशली गर्ल्स के ऊपर जो थोड़ी अब चेंज हो गई हैं चीजें बट इन आर टाइम यू नो लाइक वी फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैर कर्फ्यू ऑफ नाइन थर्टी पी एम इट वॉज सो अर्ली लाइक अब लंडन में रह के इस लाइक नाइन थर्टी पे हमें अंदर होना होता था पर उस टाइम पे यू नो इस लाइक क्या कर सकते हैं बट काफी इस पे लड़ते थे ऊपर दिस इज इस्लामाबाद दिस इज इस्लामाबाद लाइक इस्लामाबाद हैज अ 8 पीएम कर्फ्यू एंड नॉट एनीमोर इट्स अ नहीं था बट इट्स अ वी डोंट वांट टू गो आउटसाइड ऑफ नास बट इट वाज यू नो लाइक द बॉयज को जस्ट चिल अराउंड विद इन द कैंपस सो वी हैड अ मैसिव मैसिव कैंपस एंड द बॉयज कुड वी हैड कैफेज एंड रेस्टोरेंट्स इनसाइड द कैंपस इटसेल्फ सो the boys could stay out as long as they wanted to they could play sports until midnight they could be sit be sitting in the cafe having chai with each other we were not allowed to do any of that yeah sai nahi lag raha sai nahi tha mujhe bilkul sai nahi wala pasand aata tha but pata nahi usme bhi ek charm thi uske baad hum log apni hostel mein ja ke party karte the raat ko it's not like we would go to sleep early acha hamara 12 o'clock internet bhi band ho jata tha oh my god bahut restrictions thi but somehow like we we miss all of that still like wo bas ek ek that sense of belonging that a place gives yeah. you wo the wo aa gayi thi um and you know like aap hans rahe ho aap you're, you're sitting until 2 in the morning playing cards ludo like what not um exams hain aap saath mein puri puri raat baith ke padh rahe ho padh rahe ho um so one of my best friends was in the hostel with me ali knows her as well and this is tuba this is tuba okay. so she would be like you have to sit in my room and study with me so she was doing a completely different degree and she was a senior of mine uske uski bilkul alag time pe exams hote the mere alag time pe hote the she's like no no just come here and we'll study and i'm like you guys don't study because like somehow you guys like econ was just really really tough but se nahi hoti thi udhar baith ke padhai like no no it's fine it's fine aa jao udhar baith ke padhte hain sare Obviously, कोई पढ़ाई नहीं होती थी एंड दिस वन डे आई फेल स्लीप शी लाइक सोना भी आई है लेट्स पूरे मैट्रेस ऑन द फ्लोर लेट्स गो टू स्लीप हेयर टूगेदर मैं सो गई उधर से ही सोया नहीं गया मुझसे सो आज लाइक आई एम गोइंग बैक टू माई रूम लाइक फाइव इन द मॉर्निंग आई वेकअप आई एम लाइक आई एम गोइंग बैक टू माई रूम आई एम गोइंग वेकअप एट लाइक एंड इन टू आवर्स एंड एंड स्टडी माइंड यू सोते मैंने कोई तैयारी नहीं की हुई थी आई कूड वेकअप एंड एन आवर बिफोर द एग्जाम माई रूम मेट वेक्स मी अपन शीज लाइक Have you like? Have you revised? She knew because I would wake up early. I was a morning person. I would wake up early. She's like, "Have you revised? Are you ready to go?" I studied for that exam in an hour. I entered the hall late, exam hall late, just so that I could have a bit more time to study. And is is tera ki chiz hua karti thi hostel me. That's very characteristic of say engineering schools in India, yeah. where they're like they never study right. Until yeah. the last day, yeah. and then they like doing an all-nighter yeah. is like a ritual. Yeah. कि ऐसा नहीं कि पहले पढ़ नहीं सकते. It's like but क्यों पढ़ना है? क्यों पढ़ना है? हाँ क्यों पढ़ना है? जब मजे कर सकते हो. Exactly. तो क्यों करना है? And हाँ हमने भी बहुत किया है. I would be the last person to enter. Every जो भी सुबह early morning class होती थी ना, I would be the last person to enter, even though I was the person living closest to to the actual like school. 
बिकॉज रात को सोता नहीं था कोई भी एवरी वन वो जस्ट स्टे एम तो इट वॉज जस्ट द मोस्ट वंडरफुल टाइम द मेड द बेस्ट मेमरीज देर एंड जस्ट बींग ऑन द कैंपस वे शिट नाइन थर्टी अंदर जाना पड़ता था बट यू नो जस्ट बींग एबल टू जैसे जो लोग डे स्कॉलर्स थे लाइक पीपल हैव टू गो होम आफ्टर क्लासेज आर पीपल हैव फैमिलीज एंड अदर कमिटमेंट्स दे वुड लीव एट यू नो लाइक फाइव पी एम सिक्स पी एम हमने तो वहीं रहना है बस बैठे रहते थे घंटों ग्राउंड में बैठे हुए बातें कर रहे हैं थिंग इज यू मेक सो मेनी मोर फ्रेंड्स जस्ट बाई बींग इन दैर एनवायरमेंट बिकॉज you know like when you're staying back you're going to get to know more, a lot more people than people you're just studying with and yeah. in the classes so yeah and the it, friendships are deeper as well right? so deep yeah uh, cuz you're like we khushi gham mein saath hai so yeah it was just it was just the best of times and um it also meant that i could get involved in a lot of um extracurriculars more easily yeah. Yeah. than maybe would have been possible zar aapko jab ghar jana hota hai aapko apne gaadi ki schedules dekhne hai apni or commitments dekhne hai we didn't have any of that right so hum to wahi hain fare gaye hain to isme involve ho jate hain usme involve ho jate hain so which was amazing because um you know like we had um मॉडल यूनाइटेड नेशन इवेंट्स एंड डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कॉन्फ्रेंसेज तो हर चीज़ में साइनअप किया होता था जस्ट ग्रेट लाइक यू नो मेड सो मेनी मेमरीज इन दो इन इन दोज इवेंट्स मेड सो मेनी फ्रेंड्स इन दोज इवेंट्स एंड लाइक दोज थिंग्स जस्ट गेव मी अ चांस टू बिल्ड अप सो मेनी स्किल्स दैट आई कूड यूज लेटर ऑन वॉज यूर फैमिली इन इस्लामा इज वेल एट द टाइम नो सो दैट वॉज द टाइम एंड माई फादर वॉज पोस्टेड इन पिशावर सो in all the four years that mm. i was at nast my father was first posted in peshawar then he was posted in karachi so i was so they were never in islamabad at any point mm. so i mean they, they, he he came for like a month in between before he got posted again so yeah um beech mein mujhe laga ki i'm going to have to leave the hostel <laughs> and my god the tears are right my friends were like don't leave and i was like i don't want to leave yeah. but obviously if my parents are living in the city they're going to yeah, be like why do you want to yeah. live there <laughs> i had some like something very similar when i went to hcc yeah to shuru ka jo ek hafta 10 din tha i was completely I was homesick, yeah, right? Yeah. I was like, and it was my first time yeah. not just away from the family, but also going away from the family and abroad. Yeah. Right. Um. But then by the time it was like, वो जो पहली आपकी December break होती है मेरा दिल नहीं चाहता घर भी जाना. That's very true. Pushur mein maybe har hafte I yeah. call my dad and be like, मैंने आना है घर. And then my parents said to me, you can't come home every weekend. Like थोड़ा वहाँ भी रुका कर. And then by 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 like six months, I was like, yeah, I'm happy to stay spend the weekends here yeah. as well. Yeah. So it happens. And when it comes to like the extracurriculars yeah. and, and all of that, like one of the things you did while you were there is um, teaching disabled children in Peshawar. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was that experience like? And this is what 2000. And... This was 2012. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that was a very it was, it was a difficult experience, I have yeah. to say, and that was something I did over the summers. Um, my mother used to run the Air Force's uh, Women's Association, so mm. they owned the say the school for disabled children as well. So she's like, you know, do you want to volunteer there? Go help out the teachers. We need volunteers. It was it was a very heavy experience. Mm. Um, I would come home with tears every single day. It was just it was just. इधर के मुल्क में आप देखो यू नो द सॉर्ट ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज द गिफ्ट टू चिल्ड्रन हु आर डिसेबल वो बहुत फ़र्क है लाइक like, mm. आप इधर बहुत सपोर्ट है पाकिस्तान में वो चीज़ नहीं है स्पेशली फॉर चिल्ड्रन दीज वर नॉट दीज वर चिल्ड्रन फ्रॉम वेरी दे वॉन्ट फ्रॉम वेरी प्रिवलेज बैकग्राउंड तो यू कुछ जस्ट सी गोइंग देर के इनकी जिंदगी में ज़्यादा कुछ है नहीं आगे छोटी छोटी वो स्किल्स सीख रहे हैं मैं फॉर एग्जांपल वन ऑफ द टीचर्स लाइक आप दे गॉट न्यू कंप्यूटर्स फॉर चिल्ड्रन लाइक वो कुछ उसमें बच्चों के लिए प्रोग्राम्स उन्होंने डाले हुए थे शी इज लाइक वाई डोंट यू टीच सम ऑफ दिस चिल्ड्रन हाउ हाउ टू यूज दैट एक बच्चे को मेमोरी का इशू था मैं उसको एक दिन सिखाती थी वो तो मैं अगले दिन जाती थी उसको कुछ याद नहीं हुई यू डेंट रिमेंबर वाई वॉज एंड देन हाउ टू डू इट अगैन तो इस तरह की बहुत एक छोटी सी उनको कलरिंग कलरिंग उनसे नहीं हो रही होती थी एंड इट इज़ वेरी हार्ट रेंचिंग टू सी दैट एंड यू नो इट जस्ट मेक्स यू बी सो अवेयर ऑफ योर प्रिवलेज एंड हाउ ब्लेस्ड यू आर एंड एंड जस्ट जस्ट रियली रियली सैड फॉर दोज पीपल एंड यू नो यू वॉन्ट डू समथिंग टू मेक देयर लाइफ ईजियर एंड यू वॉन्ट टू डू समथिंग टू गिव दैम मोर अपॉर्चुनिटीज डिस्पाइट देर डिसबिलिटी बट इन अ कंट्री लाइक पाकिस्तान जहाँ इतनी कम रिसोर्स होती हैं जहाँ माँ बाप खुद जिनके पास पैसे नहीं हैं जब उनको यू नो उनका उनका कोई बच्चा डिसेबल हो जाता है वो बस छोड़ देते हैं बहुत सारे लोग उसी 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 हाल में उनको 
तो इट वॉज इट वेरी डिफिकल्ट एक्सपीरियंस बट बट यू नो लाइक थोड़ा सा ग्रेटिफाइंग भी था कि आई एम डूइंग समथिंग बट आई न्यू कि उसका इफेक्ट बहुत बहुत स्मॉल है बट इट्स इट स्टिल फेल्ट नाइस कि कुछ चलो थोड़ी देर के लिए उन बच्चों को को कंपनी दे दी थोड़ा सा वो खुश हो गए कि यू नो समिंग टू आर समन लुकिंग एर एस बिकॉज टीचर्स इट्स अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट जॉब फॉर समन हुज डूइंग इट एवरी सिंगल डे इट कैन बी वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट नॉट रियली हैविंग लाइक इवन द टीचर्स राइट आई मीन द कॉम्पनसेशन फॉर टीचर्स एज वेल इज आई मीन इज बेयरली लाइक आई मीन इज बेयरली अ लिविंग वेज even in cities like lahore and karachi yeah. i can imagine but like somewhere like peshawar in 2012 yeah, yeah. you know you're in and so this is when like you know there was a lot of onslaught from the taliban going on as yeah. well so this is a re- entire region which is you know faced i mean drone attacks uh, yeah. yeah and there, there's refugees from all of the all of the fatah area yeah. i'm sure there were uh, you know people in peshawar quite a few people in peshawar mm. were refugees and all yeah, of that yeah 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 um Yeah, I'm sure the lack of resources was probably very yeah. apparent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in those schools, definitely. You so. did some research as well, I think, for uh, schools in KP. Was that did that sort of come out of this? Yeah. Um, no, not exactly. So that was an internship program I Achha. did with this research institution. So I just collected some data, on, like some existing data on um, low cost, like the the possibility of. um bringing about low cost private schools in peshawar mm-hmm. just because public schools ka kafi bura haal hai mm-hmm. in pakistan mein generally um to us pe thodi research chal rahi thi that was an intern there so right. for a brief period to uske liye i just helped them in de- um collecting existing data about the viability and yeah. the benefits of, of low cost yeah. private yeah. schools and during nast were your sort of internships all focused around sort of this entire development theme yeah mm-hmm. um coincidentally yes us waqt tak i was in sure ki mujhe because this was in my second year of nast i think um towards the end of my second year of nast but us waqt tak i was in sure ki mujhe aage kya karna hai is time i think these experiences sort of shaped that decision ki mujhe apna career development ya welfare ki taraf leke jana hai i used the econ degree and then sort of enter the development or welfare space yeah um to um udhar se thoda sa you know those the seed, the seeds were planted at that time us uske baad bhi i tried for a couple of corporate um internship programs but uh, i think my heart was my yeah. heart was here so and yeah and then eventually that's where i ended up so yeah. what was that process like moving on to your next phase of your life yeah. in london so um So all throughout Nast, I was just like, "I need to go abroad." My master's was planned to be abroad, because I had been thinking about doing my master's from abroad. Um, us waqt pehle mera ye plan tha. Parents ne ye din kaha bhi chote ho jab master's karna ho, yar mujhe bhi yehi kaha. Yeh mujhe bhi yehi kaha. I'm not kidding. This is a cross border agreement that every parent has. Exactly, baat hui. Ab mana nahi kiya, bas pyaar se dekh lo, beta. Matlab abhi thodi choti ho, thoda sa aage ja ke chali jana. पक्का तो मैं बाहर भेजेंगे वो तो हम तो खुद धक्के मार के बाहर भेजेंगे दे इवन लेट मी लाइक सेट फॉर सैट एंड ऑल वैसे क्योंकि वी हैड फैमिली फ्रेंड्स यू हैड टू गिव सैट एंड तो थोड़ा प्री प्रप करना रहता था दे दे डिन एनकरेज मी टू डू दैट एंड ऐसे दे वर वेरी एनकरेजिंग एकेडमिकली कि ये भी करो वो भी करो एंड देन आई वाज लाइक शिट सैट नहीं दिया यूएस में लाइक ऐसे तो लाइक सिंगापुर ही कर लेते हैं वो भी हांगकांग एंड सिंगापुर द ओनली वंस आई वाज लाइक कि वी एक्सेप्ट इंडियन एजुकेशन सिस्टम के मार्क्स ना वो भी मिल गया देन मे मॉम्स लाइक बेटा क्या ही करोगी जस्ट एट इन आई वाज लाइक नहीं करना था तो शुरू से ही बोल रहे थे सही बात है आई थिंक सो दैट्स एग्जैक्टली हाउ इट हैपेंड फॉर मी माय डैड वाज लाइक देख लो मास्टर्स के लिए चली जाना so um so all throughout nas is like acha theek hai that's something i was working towards that i have to go for my masters abroad and it has to be an at a good uni but another another thing was that it has to be fully funded because um my dad was in the air force like it's 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 not always like air force ki salary pe bachon ko bahar padhne bhejna mm. is mm. not it's not always possible so it's just like you know i was working like you know extra extra hard you know to have the grades and have the extra curriculars and you know have a strong profile which right. would make me a good candidate so yeah like towards the end of my so towards the end of my third year uske baad to bas mera ek focus tha ki acha mujhe gre dena hai mujhe university shortlist karni hai and um started applying then um and lse was always one of my top choices it was one of the places i really wanted to go to um मुझे नहीं पता था सो आई गॉट इन बट आई नाइट डेंट नो अंटिल लाइक 
end of July if I'm getting funding from it. And oh. Then I said to my dad one day, hmm. if I don't get funding, any money you've kept aside for my shadi, आप मुझे इसके लिए दे दीजिएगा. And I think that just like melted his heart. He's like, इसको कितना शौक है जाने का. He said, मैं दे दूँगा. This is more important. But alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, that worked out. I got funding. Um, and then yes, September 2015 is when I moved to London for the first time to start my masters. This, this was a fully funded scholarship. Fully funded, living cost paid. That's everything. very cool. Oh, wow. so, you yeah, were so stipend so wale. The dream. Stipend wale boys. But uh, you know, as you were saying that there's so many people back home, both Pakistan and India, who would, who sort of want that route, right? That I've done undergrad, I've done mm-hmm. masters, and maybe mm-hmm. you know, family can't. for them for to send it to somewhere yeah, like yeah, that yeah. like what do you think are sort of the three four things that you did yeah that really helped you get that sort of fully funded thing yeah. the scholarship so grades do matter yeah. <laughs> despite what the gpa don't matter memes you see on facebook grades do really matter um and but it's not just the grades mm. um i think i really um worked hard on my overall profile so i try to have all like do as many extracurriculars as i could and make them as relevant as possible just to show that i they, they want to see focus mm. they want to see like you what you're saying you want to do you've been working towards it and you have a plan so us waqt se matlab you know any applications i did i was very clear ki acha mujhe maine is is wajah se ye sari cheeze ki hain आगे मुझे मुझे ये इसलिए पढ़ना है क्योंकि मुझे आगे ये सब कुछ करना है सो आई थिंक जस्ट यू नो हैविंग दैट फोकस रियली हेल्प्ड एंड या जस्ट यू नो जस्ट हैविंग दैट स्ट्रॉन्ग प्रोफाइल मेंटेनिंग माय ग्रेड्स एंड आई थिंक दोज आर ऑल थिंग्स दैट प्लेड अ की रोल आई डेंट आई डेंट आई डेंट गो टू एनी काउंसलर नो आई डेंट इट वॉज ऑल खुद खुद अपनी मेहनत थी बट ये था कि हाँ आई डेफिनेटली सॉट फीडबैक फ्राम अलमनाए सो आई न्यू अ फ्यू पीपल हु एट कॉन्ट एलिसर एल एस टी एप सो सेंट माई एप्लीकेशन टू दैम आस फॉर फीडबैक फ्राम वेर एवर आई खर्ड फ्राम वेरी स्ट्रॉग रेफरेंसेज लाइक पीपल हैड वर्क आई दर वेरी क्लोजली विद ड्यूरिंग माई इंटर्नशिप्स और प्रोफेसर दैट हैड डिवेलप अ गुड रिलेशनशिप विद रेफरेंसेज अपने स्ट्रॉग रखे आई थिंक दर ऑल थिंग्स दैट रियली हेल्प एंड या try to keep my applications as honest as possible lse mein ye tha ki unki um they sort of don't differentiate between merit and financial scholarships i was very honest ki main itne de sakti hu itna i'm willing to work myself um to fund it and the rest i just need um and i can't come without it so jitna maine manga unhone utna mujhe de diya so yeah i think uh, it, it was a lot lot of hard work i i won't i won't lie like mm. the last few months of my undergrad were just it's almost a blur just because you know like gre and then you know trying to do all the other things on the side to keep my profile strong mm. then of course your thesis and exams and what on it was a very tough period but i think hard work goes a long 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 way yeah so yeah yeah, yeah. no i think that's very I think that'll be very helpful for anyone who's yeah, aspiring to yeah, do something like yeah. that. That sort of background. Um, one thing you mentioned, which I think people from back home always miss and is so important, is the narrative part that you were saying. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That your story needs to, and this comes up in jobs as well. Yeah, It's not just yeah. with the yeah. scholarships. Your story really needs to align. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, why you did this in the past. Yeah. And how it aligns to yeah. what you're wanting to do right yeah. now. and that is what i think a lot of people yeah. miss you go kya karenge like they'll have good grades they'll yeah. have a good gmat or gre yeah. Yeah. and they'll sh- literally it's, it's it's like showing up main aa gaya hu ye mere grades hain ye mera gmat hai meri scholarship ka hai yeah but they won't talk about like okay that. like i am the perfect fit yeah. for what you're trying to do exactly. right they won't say that to the other yeah. the person deciding the scholarship yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah now being on the other side we do read them we do read <laughs> them <laughs> like i mean when it comes to jobs and stuff like <laughs> If someone's written a cover letter, yeah, which is pretty impressive, it adds to it for yeah. sure. Yeah, or उसकी कहानी ऐसे कि ये शुरू से like so if I'm reading someone for a banking job, or वो क्या मतलब everything he he or she did was sort of finance related and hmm. is perfectly placing him for this job, I'd be like shit, like interview to करना है for sure, and हाँ. I would walk into the interview rooting for this person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Because I want him or her to do well because you know they've done the work. Hmm. and they're smart enough to show that in a in a very compelling way yeah yeah right. yeah no that's very cool london kaisa tha 
सो लंडन में फर्स्ट कॉट हेयर एज यू गैस ऑल नो योर सेल्व सेप्टेम्बर में लंडन अच्छा नहीं होता है लाइक देर सो मच रेन एंड इट्स कोल्ड लाइक स्टार्टिंग टू गेट रियली कोल्ड तो मैं जो पहले आपको हमें पाकिस्तान में आदत नहीं है टू वॉक एवरीवेयर राइट सो एज अ स्टूडेंट यूर लाइक ओ आई डोंट वांट स्पेंड टू मच मनी ऑन पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट्स आई एम जस्ट गन हैव टू वॉक एवरीवेयर आई रिमेंबर माय सेकंड डे माय आई आई एम ऑन द बस बैक टू माय हॉल्स एंड माय फोन डाइड एंड आई गॉट ऑफ एज आई डोंट नो दैट मल्टीपल स्टॉप्स ऑन द सेम स्ट्रीट कैन बी नेम्ड similar names so i was like okay mujhe rosebery hall jana hai to rosebery avenue must be the closest stop to me <laughs> it wasn't ab wo crossroads the i went down the wrong path and <laughs> barish ho rahi thi aur hawa chal rahi thi wo wali hawa jahan aapka umbrella bhi seedha nahi rehta na shopping yeah. bags in my hand and this is my second day and i'm just like i hate this i just want to go home this is so <laughs> difficult and i was crying about this to a friend of mine who'd been here for a year and she's like give it two months maha main tumse do mahine baad puchungi do you ever want to go back <laughs> and that's what happened it just the city grows on you and two months later i was like i love this city i love this i love the experiences here and you know itna itni zabardast cheezein karne ko mil rahi hain and as a girl especially i feel like pakistan mein reh ke there's so many small things like it doesn't matter how open your parents are छोटी छोटी चीज़ें हैं कि अगर आपका दिल चाह रहा है आपने बाहर जाके वॉक करना है यू नो जिस जस्ट वॉन्ट सम फ्रेश एयर यू हैव टू रियली थिंक अबाउट वेयर यू आर एट द मिनट लाइक आई कुडन डू दैट यू नो इफ आई एम जस्ट इन अ रैंडम ऑफिस इन इस्लामाबाद नीचे जाके मैं रोड पे वॉक नहीं कर सकती मैंने इस्लाम वन ऑफ द सेफर प्लेस आप नहीं कर सकते हो यहाँ पे बट यहाँ पे यू नो जस्ट नॉट है टू थिंक अबाउट थिंग्स लाइक दैट um it doesn't matter how late it is at night but the mere parents be suddenly like yahan pe mere pe even though they're sitting so far away they never asked me kitne kitne baje wapas aao aao like they were just like you know very yeah. relaxed islamabad mein the number of restrictions on me to this day even though i'm married and 30 are so high to wo cheez bahut you know like it's just so refreshing and liberating to you know like finally Just be able to step out when I want to step out, yeah. yeah. Um, and not have to worry about my safety. It's like a thing that's very good to me. And then just London itself, like it's such a larger than life city. Yeah. I had the sort of experiences that, like, I couldn't have even dreamt about ten years ago. I came to the city thinking, "I mean, if I go very, you know, if all my if all the stars align, I mean, this concert to go to. It ended up happening that year." <laughs> and it was just you know there were so many pinch me moments was this cold play yes this is cold <laughs> play and you know my friends and i hum log islamabad mein nasme baithe hote the hum kab baatein kiya karte the you know kabhi in some life hum log kabhi cold play ke concert pe jayenge maine kabhi ye nahi socha tha ki this could actually be a reality yeah. because usse ki cheez usse ki dreams itni far fetched lagti hain when you're sitting so far away though for there were so many pinch me moments in that year and i was just so grateful that i decided to come to london um and you know decided to you know like uh, being in central made such a huge difference mm. ab just corner pe jao do something happening yeah. ab weekend pe aise walk karne bahar niklo you'd come you'd, you'd stumble up upon something interesting honestly like if you're in central or like west yeah. i think just walking just outside walking is out, therapeutic yeah. yes it spoiled me uske baad jab main you know now usme fir main chal rahi hu kya yeah i was trying to go uh, like throw jai bait him like bahut <laughs> time ho gaya east mein aa ja aap se we have to go to his place i'm like kahan ja rahe hain because like when when we want to do aaj tak aaj tak yahi se gayi hai east se ha to main my i started in East, like yeah. the first three months in London. Mera bhi when you were saying about your first experience, it was very similar. Yeah. It was November. It was freaking cold. I was sick. I joke that I was patient X for COVID. Because I, I literally oh, made internship. Oh. Khatam hai, I went home and for COVID, all the lockdown was. Oh, that's so sad. And that uh, was such a virus that I went three times to my uh, company doctor. Ke paas thi, and she was like, I don't know what it is. It seems to be some virus, but uh, I don't know where you caught it from. Oh, and no. nothing seems to work. She literally gave me like cough syrup with morphine in it. She was like, "Nahi ho pa raha hai ab." So, ah, uh, my first experience is like, what shit is that's this tough. place? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then that's why when I came back to London, I was very happy when I started working here that my first company was in the center. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I made a decision that कुछ भी हो जाए till I decided to like get a house in the suburbs or something. 
समथिंग इधर बीच में ही रहना इट्स पॉइल्स यू पता है उसके बाद कहीं रहना बड़ा मुश्किल लगता है बहुत ज्यादा बिकॉज यू नो माय फर्स्ट एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ लंदन वाज सेंट्रल तो जब उसके बाद इवेंचुअली व्हेन आई मूव्ड हियर अगेन शादी और वर्क लाइफ में आके इट्स लाइक Like we're so far away. <laughs> This is not fun. I just want to be. Ste- I just want to step out and be close to Hyde Park. <laughs> you know, you're just twenty minutes away. Definitely. I know, I know, but, but you can't walk. You can't walk. You can't walk. That, you can't walk. Thing. You can't just go down your house and like walk to Hyde exactly. Park. Exactly. That's the problem. So that's a spoil. Kar diya tha six years ne, but I can't be more grateful that I got that hmm. year in London was just. And like my friend had predicted, like jab jaane ka time, I stayed till. <laughs> Two days before my visa was to expire. Mm. So even after London, like my LSE ended, I stayed back. I was like, you know, it was too late to, you know, find a job that will sponsor me. But I was like, I'll do internships, just get some <coughs> experience. Um, and us on three months, maybe you know, just made the most of it. And I was like, I don't want to go back. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I think, but so I think God heard, like God knew how badly I wanted it. I ended up getting married and moving here again, like yeah. a year later. <laughs> so. Well, yeah, like you were talking about the the pinch me moments. Yeah. Uh, what was uh, what was it like meeting Shyan <laughs> <laughs> and finding your husband? <laughs> Not something I husband. thought I came here to do. Yeah. Um, we met in the most random of ways. Like we were in the same halls, um, LSE me. That was so. Shyan was in his third year at the time. I was a first year master student, and for the first time in his time in LSE, he decided that I'm going to make more Pakistani friends. Us waktu uske Pakistani friends nahi the, so he saw me in the hall. Mere saamne seat khali thi. Wo aake bed gaya mere saamne, and you know, it just it, it just ha- it all happened very organically. Yeah. You know, became really good friends. The halls mein yeh tha ke um, our halls were catered, so dinner pe sab kathe milte the. Mm. So. एक ग्रुप बन गया फिर टेबल टेनिस खेलना रात में कार्ड्स hmm. खेलना तो फिर इवेंचुअली यू नो दोस्ती रही एंड देन इवेंचुअली फीलिंग्स आ गई मैं सुना शायान को तुम कहती हो स्पिन नहीं करा सकते टेबल टेनिस में स्पिन बैंड है उसी ने मुझे सिखाई है टेबल टेनिस राइट्स अभी तक आई एम लाइक सो व्हेन ही प्लेस अ स्पिनस ऑन मी आई एम लाइक यू कांट डू दैट यू नो लाइक यू नो माय वीकनेसेस सो यू कांट यू कांट यू कांट डू द हार्ड स्टफ विद मी But uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't actually come to London to find a husband. I didn't think that was on the cards. Um, but it's just it was. It was really. It's just you know God works in such funny ways. I. जब मैंने सोच भी नहीं रही थी इस चीज के बारे में. My mom saw him at my graduation, and she, she really liked him. And and she didn't know. Okay, she didn't know. No, it was like that. A lot of unofficial things. Yeah. And, um, She asked me herself because she had been thinking about my shadi and you know been pushing me to you know find someone mm. or like you know khud bishte dikhaye. So I don't know like I like God put it in her heart that oh, he's the one. <laughs> Serendipity. It's just it's just yeah. <laughs> and then just after that, when I moved back to Pakistan, met his parents. The parents met up with me, and mm. then yeah, very best. But cool. then you moved back to Pakistan. Yeah, so I had to move. So my visa yeah. expired. Mm. Um, so I had to come back. That was January 2017. Had to come back. So us waktu to khair you know like my mayor shan ki koi usra se nothing was final so um i started looking for jobs there and i ended up um landing a really really good research position in this microfinance um company so mm. um like i don't know how much you guys know about microfinance but it's basically like a uh, small loans for people who are from less privileged backgrounds mm. who can't get traditional loans uh, uh from from big banks so what my company was used to do was it was sort of like a liaison between the microfinance industry and the policy makers i.e. the the central bank mm. plus um the funders like department for international development or like the academia like we were we worked closely with universities like lums who were doing research projects for us um so i was a research a research associate there so spent a year um with them it was a very interesting time um uh, did did it quite 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 a few um interesting research pieces with them um some around the impact of microfinance on actually helping people out of poverty mm. um there's another piece around um financing avenues for small medium enterprises that mm. we worked on uh, worked with but worked on with with central bank so kafi kafi acha tha but uske baad mein thodi si disillusion disillusion ho gayi development sector se pakistan mein I started feeling like 
जितने पैसे जा रहे हैं hmm. उतना इम्पैक्ट नहीं हो रहा है बिकॉज वी स्पेंड सो मच ऑफ दैट मनी ऑन फैंसी कॉन्फ्रेंसेज एंड चाइनी रिपोर्ट बट अगर आप देखो कि उस एक आदमी को एक गरीब आदमी को उससे कितना फायदा हो रहा है तो वो मुझे वो नजर नहीं आ रहा था इम्पैक्ट तो खैर बिफोर आई हैड चांस टू थिंक अबाउट व्हाट आई वांट टू डू नेक्स्ट फिर शादी हो गई एंड देन आई मूव्ड हियर एंड देन इट वाज जस्ट यू नो लाइक अ बिग शॉक इन द सेंस के टू स्टार्ट माय करियर ऑल ओवर अगेन लाइक एक साल का एक्सपीरियंस था मेरे पास पाकिस्तान में उस वक्त सो इट वॉज जस्ट असेंशली एंटरिंग द जॉब मार्केट अगेन ऑल ओवर अगेन एंड अ मच मोर कम्पेटिटिव जॉब मार्केट एंड मच हार्ड लाइक लंडन कहाँ इस्लामाबाद कहाँ इट वॉज एन ईजी इट वॉज जस्ट there were a lot of rejections yeah. the first i started looking in the development sector here but I realized very quickly ki yahan pe development sector mein a lot of the work is happening around fundraising not hmm. necessarily hmm. like the projects itself are not happening here a lot yeah. of them to wo bhi phir thoda samajh tha ki nahi i don't want to do that it's, it's more charity organizing yeah. it's, it's more like charity work exactly right? yeah. to yeah. wo thoda sa mai usse thodi si bade scale pe kaam karna cha rahi thi to um Uh, that said i spent like maybe like 5 6 months doing some volunteer work where i was while i was searching for jobs um so that was a charity working for um street children in pakistan but mm-hmm. um the person was running it from here because she was based here mm. well kafi interesting kaam tha but just did a bit of everything for her like a bit of fundraising a bit of project management but that was just something to do while i was um looking for jobs तो उस प्रोसेस में फिर आई केम अक्रॉस द फास्ट स्ट्रीम इन द सिविल सर्विस तो सो आई थिंक आई मैंशन एट द स्टार्ट की मुझे था क्या तो मैंने डेवलपमेंट में जाना है या मुझे कुछ वेलफेयर साइड पर जाना है जस्ट वॉन्ट टू डू समथिंग वे आई फील लाइक आई एम गिविंग बैक एंड आई एम हेल्पिंग पीपल सो आई थॉट द यू के गवर्नमेंट वुड बी अ ग्रेट अपॉर्चुनिटी बिकॉज लाइक अ कपल ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट्स देयर वर्क वॉज वेरी अलाइंड विद वर आई वॉन्ट टू डू um like department for international development unke to itne projects hain pakistan mein so i said if i can get that then i can um then i can actually directly be involved in projects in pakistan or department for education wo itna acha kaam karte hain or you know where i am currently is work in pensions they are responsible for the welfare policy of of the entire country to kafi i just thought ki oh there is a lot of things i could do mm. that would be very aligned and like they had they had like career path specifically for an economist hmm. so i decided to apply for that so their fast stream is sort of like a grad scheme but not necessarily for fresh grads um and i just i think it was just stroke of luck yeah bas allah ki taraf se kuch tha so they you can only work there if you're a british national i was going to ask yeah. like yeah. with the civil service yeah. it's probably quite tricky if you're it's an very, international yeah. person yeah right? so they don't sponsor visas right but that doesn't really matter because you can only work there if you're a british national yeah. or if you're a commonwealth national so oh, because wow. i was from pakistan yeah, i could actually yeah. work for them That's um and cool. i didn't need a visa because i was on spouse visa here already mm. yeah so um wo bas i think kafi kafi mai lucky position mein thi us waqt that i sort of met the criteria um it was a very difficult process to get in i would deny um quite similar to how like other grad Hmm. scheme recruitments work um like assessment centers so like multiple rounds pehle the online video vi- video interviews <coughs> then assessment centers and then because i was applying for their economic scheme so hmm. we had to also do an econ based assessment center which is quite tricky because it required me to really refresh my yeah. economics like go back to the basics wo kafi mushkil tha had to write a policy paper presented to them um it was it took like four the whole process took like four or five months mm. kafi lamba tha that is a very long it is a very process. yeah i don't um, think i've ever heard any industry take yeah, that long yeah cuz it started i started started the process in like september and i got the offer start of february so it took a long while but there mm. there are things happening in between like they yeah, keep you updated and everything it's so, not like they so the ghost last, you for like so a month so most of the, uh, the the first few phases i think the first four 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 rounds were quite close together mm. It is the last one the economics assessment center they give you a bit of time because you have to write you have to prepare a policy paper for mm. that and usme pe ye bhi hua tha ki i was out of the country for a bit so they i had like mujhe jo date mili wo thodi baat ki mili uh, but yeah generally it's, it is a, it is a long process mm. um and 
my god when i was doing it i was in such a bad mental space because at that point mai koi 40 50 rejections ke sath apply karna shuru kiya tha so mm. in my head i'm like if all these small companies haven't taken me yeah Hmm. Why how is this, how is the UK civil service jahan oxbridge se log aake apply right. kar rahe hain jahan like you know i'm like it's not going to work out yeah. i went into every round thinking this is going to be the last one hmm. i don't know why us point that <coughs> the imposter syndrome was out of the roof and i was like nahi hoga nahi hoga so um balki beech mein um af when i was due to do my first assessment center uh, shan's grandfather passed away mm. Mm. um just like two days before that assessment center and they were all flying back to pakistan and i was like what should i do and he's like no you have to stay back and do this and mm. i was like i should be with the family at this time and he's mm. like no and then in my heart i was like i'm staying back we mera hona to hai nahi like is yeah. iske baad to nahi hona hai like assessment centers itne mushkil hote hain so with every like you know as as i proceeded through the rounds i was like wait what It's, is it actually like us uh, uh, my confidence levels were very low at that time mm. it was just i was really struggling as in nahi hoga nahi hoga bas bas negative wo aa jata hai na aapke andar kitni mm. rejections ho gayi hai i can't be good enough to um but i worked really hard for that for for uh, uske baad i went to pakistan for the for, for the christmas period and the whole trip like i was there for like four weeks the whole trip i just spent working on my econ assessment center the policy like i worked so hard i reached out to my old professors i was mm. like i need your help with this policy paper feedback li yahan se wahan se just worked really hard and like i said i think hard work kabhi zaya nahi jata even when i did the assessment center there was one one section in which i felt like i i didn't i didn't think i did a good job mm. um but wo ho gaya like when i got the acceptance i was just this is this this can't be real yeah. is i'm i I am sure they've made a mistake. <laughs> like, all the feelings they was fucked. Um, but I'm just really, really glad it worked out because it's been such a wonderful experience working there. Yeah. It's been almost four years now. So then I got a choice. Um, I had to choose which department to work for. So my first choice was, uh, I wanted to work for um the Department for International hmm. Development, hmm. but they didn't happen to have openings at that time, so it wasn't on on the table. And with international development, they do projects. Like, how does that work? Is the UK government doing projects in other countries? Yeah, or, yeah. Like yeah. that's probably related to the Foreign Office or something, right? Yeah, yeah. So now it's actually merged with the Foreign Office. It's now Achha. called the Foreign and Common Foreign Commonwealth and of uh, Development Office. But us time pe alag tha. Um, DFID was separate at that time, and hmm. yeah, they do countries and well, uh, they do projects in countries like Pakistan, India, hmm. ne- like bahot bahot like all over the developing world. They they have a presence. And for me, it was just you know, wait, sort of uh, like a way to stay connected to Pakistan. Because yeah. in my head, like I, my career was going to be in Pakistan. I want, like, I was going to give back to Pakistan. So, that was the idea in my head. That I would work with them. 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 That I would work with And then I thought I'll switch to them later on, but then they re then they merged with FCDO, and then they really scaled back their projects. Mm. So, um, so my second option then was the Department for Work and Pensions, um, because so welfare economics was also something that really intrigued me when I was studying it. So, um, so that was also kind of, that was also well aligned with what I wanted to do. So decided to put that down and luckily got it. Um, and it's been a really, really great like four years there. Um, so sort of work I've done like, um, so on like my title is that of an economist, but a lot of my work is um around data analysis. Mm. So um, considering that it's the government and uh the number of like. customers they have they have such rich data so as a data mm. analyst it's a really great place to be because you can do very very interesting analysis mm. there when is it like koi data analysis nahi kiya hua tha mujhe koi softwares nahi aate the kuch bhi nahi aata tha so start my first role and um they were using this program called sas i'd never heard of sas at that time <laughs> literally thrown in the deep end yeah. given analysis to do they get so the great thing about the civil service was that they're quite good in terms of training and development mm. so proper unne um, mujhe training wala di but you don't know, like ek training lena aur actual data ko use karna mm. policy questions answer karne ke liye kafi mushkil tha so literally thrown in the deep end wo seekhna bahut chote se time mein 
but that you know like made me realize okay i love doing data analysis mm. like this is something i really want to pursue and they've given me given me that flexibility ki maine apne hisab se aage roles choose kiye mm. over the next few years pre covid ho gaya like seven months into my time there covid ho gaya we went completely like working from home um but covid mein i joined a team that just did the most interesting work so mm. the the department gives out something called the universal credit mm. to people who are struggling financially um and they realized that okay if soon as covid started people started losing their jobs right. so everybody turned to the benefit sector um and th- everybody wanted more money and us fuck they had to make like the the department had to make decisions around how to help out more and our work was around doing analysis to see ki hum 10 pound aur dete hain to isse kitne logon ko ke poverty levels mein farak aayega 20 pound aur dete hain to how many people is that gonna it was yeah. so interesting and this is a sort of work that was going to the prime minister yeah. those numbers were going to the prime was minister was there some was there some like very interesting finding during that entire sort of research Um, um during the entire covid period around how sort of you were adjusting the universal credit yeah so so basically pehle unhone wo 6 months ke liye diya yeah. 6 months baad covid was nowhere near ending yeah. so they had to decide how much like whether they had to increase it and they realized and is, i'm sure they were working very close with the treasury as well yeah yeah so and pit bahut sare approvals treasury se unhone think us unhone wo paise dene hain extra so देर इज लाइक वो ना उसमें पॉलिटिक्स थोड़ी सी आ जाती हैं नेचुरली बट I mean, you want as much as you can, and the exactly. treasury wants to give as exactly. little as they can. Right? Exactly, and you know, because obviously they're also having to balance many different policy yeah. choices um, at, at a given point in time. And um, but it was it just became sort of a <coughs> no brainer after a point because. अगर हम वो उस वक्त सो वी बिकॉज ऑफ द एनालिस वी डेड वी लाइक शोर द मिनिस्टर्स के अच्छा अगर आप अभी नहीं एक्सटेंड करते हैं इसको बिकॉज कोविड अभी खत्म नहीं होने वाला है पीपल आर नॉट गन गेट देर जॉब्स बैक ऑलमोस्ट सिक्स हंड्रेड थाउजेंड पीपल आर गन फॉल इन टू पॉवर्टी दैस अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल सो देन दैट रिजल्ट इन दैम एक्सटेंडिंग द बेनिफिट फॉर अनदर फ्यू मंथ्स तो वो काफी इम्पैक्टफुल लाइक दिस वो स्टफ आई वॉज रीडिंग अबाउट इन द न्यूज पेपर द नेक्स्ट डे तो वो काफी काफी इम्पैक्टफुल काम था एंड आई जस्ट यू नो आई जस्ट रियली रियली हैप्पी लाइक इट वॉज सैड बिकॉज इन द सेंस के यू नो बेचारे लोग इतना स्ट्रगल कर रहे हैं बट हमारा काम बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग उसमें हो गया था जस्ट सॉर्ट डू दैट एनालिस but yeah and then over the over the years i have learned many different softwares as well data analysis big yeah. kafi aage kuch aage seekhi hai cheeze hain now i'm working in a modeling team where i'm learning java and i'm learning yeah. how to like we forecast how um the how like the benefit system is going to change over the next 5 years oh wow itni simulations karni hoti hain usme dekhna hota hai ki acha agar ye cheez hogi ye policy change hogi to phir kya hoga mm. ye ho gaya to ye kya hoga very interesting work mm. i feel like like what you're talking about in terms of learning those coding languages yeah. you learn on the job yeah right? it doesn't matter whatever training program you do or yeah. whatever book you read out yeah. of like you really learn on the job definitely i was just thinking like I was reflecting on your entire uh, story all the podcasts we've done what's really struck me now is is the serendipity point yeah right um har bande ki story is sort of like uh, you know i was thinking that work you did in peshawar yeah. with those kids yeah and like the research you did on the kp schools how that is sort of you know taking yeah. you uh, into exactly. your current role yeah, right now exactly um that's very interesting uh, i think we're coming up on time but yeah. ek question mujhe puchna hai puchna tha mom yeah. se bhi shuru se main soch rahi hu so my childhood has been very similar to yours yeah. even though my dad wasn't in the military yeah. but i changed nine schools to reach uh, my undergrad he was an investment banker yeah it's very similar so that was the time in <laughs> india <laughs> oh my god in terms of environment yeah imagine my childhood uh, but, uh when uh, so that was the time jab privatization chal raha tha india mein yeah. they were trying to set up banks in like the non metro cities yeah. so i've grown up in a lot of like smaller ah. more rural states and then come back to like the bombay yeah. and the delhis of the yeah. world to tab ye bahut interesting ek cheez thi jis pe maine blog post bhi likha tha which was like when i was young i used to pride myself over changing schools so frequently yeah. i'd be like wow main yahan bhi adjust ho gayi yahan bhi main first aa gayi acha yahan bhi ye kalyan yeah. like i didn't say it out loud but in my heart yeah, of hearts yeah. i used to think like that but as i grew older mujhe aisa lagta tha ki um 
लाइक वाई कांट वाई डू आई फील लाइक अ वैग बॉन्ड हुज मूव अराउंड सो मच लाइक मेरे साथ ऐसे दोस्त हैं जिनके के जी से सेम फ्रेंड्स हैं एंड देन आई डोंट हैव दैट सो आई फेल वेरी लॉस्ट एंड वो एक सेंस ऑफ बिलोंगिंगनेस एंड आइडेंटिटी प्लेज इन टू इट एंड देन वीव चेंज कंट्रीज इज वेल यूव चेंज मोर कंट्रीज दैन आई हैव हाउ डू यू थिंक अबाउट ऑल दिस हाउ डू थिंक अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ बिलोंगिंगनेस एंड यू ऑलवेज फील लाइक यू जस्ट स्टक इन टू प्लेस एट वन एंड नेवर रियली फील एट होम एंड one place i really felt that especially with the last few years um really questioned the concept of home what is home and now like you know being far away from parents but london feels like home now mm-hmm. but parents are elsewhere it is constantly that there hmm. and what you said about like you know not having friends bachpan se ek jagah pe like i have friends friends scattered all over the world yeah I don't have all like all my friends in one place and I feel quite envious of people who can just go home and have their entire circle circle just around them. Yeah. But at times like that I just think I wouldn't be where I am mm. if everything hadn't happened the way it did. Mm. And I've just learned to sort of find that sense of belonging in where I am. Yeah. In what I do and I've been quite lucky in terms of the f- people I've found around me and you know how at home they've always made me feel hmm. so it's always sort of balanced out now hmm. i think i'm at a point where i'm quite content i i i don't feel like i'm lost in any way and i'm quite open to any new further changes that come my way maybe i'll move elsewhere by no ke matlab main wahan pe bhi ghar bana lungi ho jayega to and i think that's just something like you know wo is tarah seekha hai kyunki itna itna it need like change has been such a constant right. in my life like i've just learned that i, I just know it's possible once you've had a few of those and you had a lot but like once you've changed like cities and countries a few times you understand that you know the idea of mul- having multiple homes yeah right is 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 real and, yeah. and i mean you can for me like london feels like home but so does lahore yeah, yeah. Uh, and I've, I don't have that thing in my mind anymore कि अच्छा मुझे decide करना है कि London घर है क्या लोग and I, I almost take comfort in the fact कि people yeah. I studied with अच्छा वो Dubai में भी है अच्छा कुछ U S में भी है it's like अगर by chance कल को जाना पड़ा you have a circle everywhere you don't yeah. start from scratch yeah. and that's very comforting yeah, yeah that's, that's very comforting true. yeah and it's it's good because like we had to start from scratch yeah right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah at some point and you yeah. had to do it quite a few times yeah. Yeah. Uh, but because of that point we now have these these multiple homes and these multiple sort of social Family, bubbles yeah. families <laughs> yeah, exactly yeah yeah definitely yeah maham ek uh, question we ask everyone mm. um uh, i know we're short on time but i really want to ask you this question let's say you you know you're you're at some you're at some party or whatever and you're meeting um the maham who has applied for her uk visa and she's coming to london now to lse mm. to do her masters what a whatever the two three things or pieces of advice you would give that maham i would tell her not to lose focus i <laughs> i think just you mean not me shayan uh, no i think i think that i think I still do that <laughs> i don't think i lost focus because of that in any way but i think what happened was that coming from a small city like islamabad in a big city and in a in such a prestigious university like lse I felt this imposter syndrome set in. Hmm. I was like, you know, like I am surrounded by all these people who are so brilliant. Especially masters, may you have a lot of people who are older than you, who are more experienced yeah. than you. A imposter syndrome set up. What happened? Right in there, which I've tried, I've I've worked really hard to like get rid of. Abhi bhi aata hai. Even like in the civil service, like the the shuru mein there were times where I'm like, like. I think they made a mistake. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the wrong place. Uh, yeah, वो एक थोड़ा सा थोड़ा सा disorienting था because you know से पहले तक I was just you know I was a, I was a topper student वो सब चीजें होती थीं but यहाँ you know you you feel like a small fish in a big sea. I would tell her you know like to fight that imposter syndrome from the very first day because you know you you've earned the you've earned a spot in that room. you've worked hard for a spot in that room and you're bringing something to the table as well mm. just like everybody else so i think that's what i would tell her i think that's very Brilliant. important advice for me as well <laughs> yeah yeah i was, uh, like, I was thinking I think about myself all, yeah exactly like, uh... we all feel the imposter <laughs> yeah, syndrome yeah and it's very hard to 
completely uh, yeah. you know get rid of it yeah I don't think it ever goes away. You just need to yeah. keep reminding yourself. Yeah. 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 It only gets better with time when you stack up a few wins. Yeah. yeah. And you look back and you're like, "Okay, I did this. I did that. I did that." Exactly. Also, having a lot of heart to heart with people because you realize, "Samne wale ko bhi koi zyada nahi hai." Exactly. So you're not the only one. I feel like that's actually happening. Yeah. But actually, like everyone's scared. Everyone's insecure. And when she was saying that, I remember the first day of the year. Yeah. 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 आज लाइक गलती कर दी क्या मैंने जॉब नहीं है so yeah I think that that would be it that's Anibha, great this advice is, this is great advice and it was lovely having you thank you for having us it's, so, it's so great being here yeah. it's been such a wonderful conversation yeah. I love talking to you guys thank you for coming thank you so much thank you.